Dear chess friends, welcome to your Zard of Chess channel and welcome to really one of the most incredible and unique chess games that I've seen in my life. We have here the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16, battling it out against another top engine, Kaisa, in an amazing sharp tactical battle of the Slav defense, the so-called Zoltan by a variation. And the game that you see now is so amazing, so unique, so specific, because in the end you will see such a unique tactic that you not see so often, I think, in chess games. I'm not talking only about uh, top engine games here, I'm talking about also top GM uh, play. You not see really uh, so often such an amazing move like uh, Stockfish played in the end. In my opinion, really, really, as I said, a unique game, really worth the follow. Pay good attention, put your seatbelts on, as I always like to say, and enjoy in the sharp tactical battle, in the Slav defense. So let's see now what happened. D4 was the first move by the Stockfish 16 chest engine. We have D5 by Kaisa, C4 the Queen's Gambit, after move C6 the Slav defense knight you have three knight you have six knight you c3 the three knights variation and now we have now this idea d takes c4 uh forcing basically now the move a4 uh by white if you don't play that then you could have many many tactical problems already uh because black could then fake fix the structure if you don't play the move a4 with the move b5 a6 uh, bishop to b7 e6 uh, bishop to e7 i think is the normal setup kingside casting and black should be perfectly fine here in the continuation um, the main line would have been now bishop to f5 usually this is now the so-called check variation of the slav defense it's in my opinion the best approach but now uh, here the kaisa engine played the move e6 this is now the so-called zultan by variation and this um, opening choice this line is very often played by the top GN and really one of the greatest uh, players of all times, Magnus Carlsen. Magnus had really decent success with this Sultan by variation where, for instance, if white continues now uh, to play the move e3, then black is going into structures of the queen's gambit accepted now with the move c5. And this leads many times into complications for uh, white because with the move a4 you already expose yourself uh, here a little bit on the queen side. Uh, you have weaknesses on b3, uh, b4 and now after move c5 uh, something like bishop to c4 okay can be played c takes d, e takes d and now many times white is continuing the, the game with the isolated d pawn. So as I said Magnus Carlsen played for instance this particular line very often uh, with good success. I see a winning game here with the black pieces by Magnus against Teymur Ajabov, also with the black pieces against Alexander Grishuk, which are, I think, great attackers. So really, really also a beautiful choice here by Magnus. So let's go back. So after move E6, E3, as we said, leads into this line with move c5 so that's why stockfish play now a more aggressive approach play now the move e4 now if c5 happens then you can let the pawns roll you can play now the move d5 and this is something that bothers black in the continuation of the game but the downside for white in this particular line is that you get hit like the kaisa engine played now with the move bishop to b4 and now you see there is a problem around the square e4 bishop to c3 or knight takes e4 is immediately a threat but here white continues simply with this normal plan bishop to c4 here the fish is allowing this tactic knight takes e4 stockfish simply castles and now here kaisa retreats to f6 if you play knight to c3 this could be an option but this is something that I would not recommend you to do if you're playing the game with the black pieces. It's like in this uh, lines, if you're maybe familiar with the lines of the Vienna variation of the Queen's Game Decline, where uh, black is delaying first the move D takes C4, then plays it when you play Knight to C3. Then there is also a particular line that's similar to this one. If you play now knight to c3, as I said, it's not so good, I think, anymore for black. You can get even more pawns, but it doesn't matter. Look at this. White slowly but surely builds an attacking formation. For instance, you try something like rook to a3, retreat, rook to b3, again you retreat, but now with knight to e5, for instance, if you castle, I think you get destroyed immediately. Look at this, rook to h3, uh, something like, I don't know, knight to d7, queen to h5, h6, bishop to h6 immediately. So I think this is game over here for already, already uh, for black. So be careful also when you're playing this types of structures, these types of lines with the black pieces. Don't get too greedy because uh, there are many issues already here. First of all, the king hasn't uh, isn't secured here by Carlson. Also, when you trade off the knights on c3, you 
are lacking in defenders in front of your own king so okay it seems tempting to go into this line but then you have to really be a defensive mo monster i'm not saying this is completely lost but as i said it's something that i would not recommend you here to play with the black pieces so that's why here knight you have six by kaisa so kaisa grabbed the pawn and is hoping now to defend the position we have rook to e1 simply getting used now of the attack on the e file forcing basically back to castle bishop to g5 knight from b to d7 and now queen to c2 stockfish has now developed all of the minor pieces this is the way to go uh, has removed now the queen from uh, the first rank has con uh, connected now the rooks and also has now uh, secured the king by castle so stockfish finished all of the three important stages of uh, the opening now stockfish has a beautiful attacking formation we have h6 kicking away the bishop bishop to h4 bishop to e7 kaisa is trying to compete somehow on uh, this diagonal against the dark wood bishop we have a5 grabbing some more spaces here on the queen side not allowing maybe even a b6 to happen because if you play of course uh, b6 a takes b6 disconnects your pawns because you cannot take with the pawn then uh, you probably lose the rook here on the b file so, uh, on the a file pardon me you could uh you want to get this kind of a structure where, where your pawns are connected if you don't play it like this you can of course take with the knight we will retreat but in my opinion now there are many weaknesses c6 weak a7 is weak so too many objects of white's attack this is not working so after a5 um stockfish paralyzes a little bit now the queen side we have rook to e8 kaisa is liberating now maybe a square for the knight on f8 in order to defend the king further and slowly but surely is trying now maybe to hit the center with the move c5 simply letting this position explode because uh black has some issues with this light square bishop black didn't develop so far the light square bishop if this light square bishop comes somehow into the game then black i think think has good chances in the game but stockfish plays now bishop to g3 we have a6 and now h3 now let's see for instance if you try uh something like c5 if you play c5 immediately the problem is now we'll simply play d5 after e takes d5 bishop to d5 look at this knight to d5 uh knight to d5 is already very very dangerous for uh for black c7 weakness uh b6 weakness a rook uh, could maybe come on the d5 maybe this one bad of course in order to protect the pawn but i think rook from e to d1 look at this the queen could be in danger so i guarantee you not have fun here in this particular game for sure so let's go back after move h3 that stockfish played you could maybe try this maneuver as we said maybe knight to f8 in order to have a good defender in front of the king maybe then later play now the move c5 but look at this what happens now immediately white would occupy the center with the move knight to e5 you could maybe try to compete again with this other knight but now look at this there is always this kind of a tactic and you should be careful when you play with the black pieces or you should be really um uh, tricky when you play with the white pieces you should recognize this tactical possibility when the king is locked like this then look at this we can even sack some further pieces queen comes into the game queen on g6 you can cover but now look at this rook comes into the game you have to step back and now for instance one tactical sequence can end with an amazing checkmate here with the king in the center of the board so be careful as i said here after move h3 you see knight maneuvers are not also something that you want to do we saw c5 is also not an option so that's why kaisa tried a different approach tried simply bishop to b4 tried simply to get uh the bishop active and is hitting of course the pawn on a5 but now stockfish shows it's really mean ideas it's really brutal ideas plays now again back bishop to h4 if you play now again bishop to e7 this wasn't played in the game but i wanted to show you how really brutal this position can already be and then knight to e5 is an opportunity knight to e5 d takes e5 knight to d5 with takes takes and now after knight to e4 you're vulnerable on dark squares you can maybe simplify the game by trading off the bishops and of course this is not really a tactically rich position now uh, maybe black has defended this position but i would not love to play in, again this game because this, of this weak uh, d6 square and also c5 b6 square too many dark or weaknesses in black's camp look at this this bishop is still stuck blocked out by its own pawn structure strategically i think white should be much much better here so okay after move bishop to h4 as we said here kaisa didn't retreat to e7 played now 
a tricky idea, bishop to a5, and I think from this point on, Stockfish took over. Here, Kaisa got a little bit greedy, took now the pawn, Stockfish says, okay, um, let's go now into the attack, knight to e5, and here, Kaisa makes maybe even the crucial mistake, uh, plays now the move bishop to b4. This wasn't good, this was simply a loss of tempo, a better choice was simply to take uh, the knight on c3. Okay, you grab now many pawns, you got out of the attack, you're getting rid of another potential attacker of whites, you, so any further trades of pieces I think is good for uh, for black because you are on the defensive side, white is on the attacking side, and when that's the case, you want to simplify the game as much as you can. Now, after bishop to c3, b takes c3, now you can hit the, here the queen side with the move b5, and okay, then maybe queen to b6, bishop to b7, and then maybe later, if possible, to play the move c5. If knight to c6 happens, it doesn't matter, we'll simply get the queen out, and uh, look at this, queen to b6, you have to step back, and now uh, the bishop would be hanging. So, you cannot take out also here the pawn, so this is not working. So, as I said, after move... Um, Knight to e5 uh, that uh, Stockfish played. Also, knight takes e5 is not working. D takes e5, and you get messed up game. You have to then later play something like g5, weaken your pawn structure. So it's also not working. So as I said, bishop to b4, new mistake by Kaisa, and now Stockfish shows again a great, great attacking formations, great attacking skills. Plays now rook to e3 with the preparation to play rook to g3. Here, queen to c7 was played, and now. Put your seat belts on and look what the fish is now doing out of this position. Stockfish plays first of all to move knight to f7. Immediately sacrifices uh, the knight here on the square. We have seen a similar tactic like this, but it's now a little bit different. It seems maybe in some lines that black can defend this position because black has at least played the move bishop to e7, created himself maybe a path for the king in order to escape, but Stockfish doesn't care. Look at this, king to f7, rook to e6. It's not allowing here a black to breathe. For rook to e6, we have bishop to e6. The problem is now you cannot take uh, here the um, uh, piece back on e6 because you're getting destroyed. Queen on g6 paralyzes further the king. And if you try something like bishop to c3, as we said, to simplify the game, we'll simply take. But look how many pieces are paralyzed. They're simply not playing. You can maybe try c5 to get again your king somehow into the game, but look at this, it's not working. We hit the queen, you have to step back, a new check, again a new check, you tr have to retreat to b5, and now, for instance, in this tactical sequence, again, you get a decoy to our side of the board, and here it's an amazing checkmate by the queen and the rook. So, really, really wild stuff. After move bishop to e6, that's why uh, here the Kaisa engine had to retreat on f8. Still. Black is up a whole piece, uh, still black has four pieces on the board, has also the rook on the board, but they're misplaced, they're not well coordinated, the pieces of blacks, especially the knights, hitting the same square, sort of, they're not really playing good defensive roles here. Stockfish continues with the move bishop to a2, prepares now queen and bishop battery, tries maybe here to deliver check on uh, checkmate on f7. We have queen to d8, getting the queen into the game, but even if you play here something like g5, the issue is here that white doesn't have to retreat white can continue simply with this plan to deliver checkmate on f7 you try maybe king to e7 the rook comes again into the game look at this bishop to g3 you step back the queen is coming into the game you're trying maybe to get a new defender look at this bishop to e6 you cannot even move uh, any pieces again queen to b4 look at this bishop to d7 uh, you take with the knight, then you get checkmated with the rook. If you take with the bishop here, uh, then you lose the knight. This is also not working. So, again, as I said, very, really, really a devastating, brutal attack here by Stockfish 16. After move bishop to a2, so that's why, as we said, queen to d8 instead of this move g5. But now Stockfish is getting uh, the last attacker into the game. That's how you attack. When all of the pieces are in good shape, you have to include simply the last attacker uh, into the game, and this is the way to go. Now we have seen how devastating this previous rook was. Now a new rook comes into the game. Now again with the same idea, rook to e3, rook to g3, or maybe even hit somehow the f file, maybe even the e file. Uh, we'll see what will happen now. In the game, bishop to e7. Now rook to e3. We have queen to e8. Again, Kaisa is trying to get a new defender into the game, and now comes the move that lets really the position explode here in the center of the board. Stockfish plays now the amazing d5. 
because Stockfish sensed, of course, the overload of the bishop here. Uh, the bishop cannot move because of the tensions on the e file. The bishop is also stuck a little bit to the defense of the knight on f6 here. So, what can you do if you play something like queen to h5 um, to try maybe? to create new activities with the queen, then it's not working. D takes C6, B takes C6, G4. Look at this. After queen to H4, you get this, again, battery. You get really this amazing idea that works through the whole game. You can maybe try now to escape, but now look what happens. We simply pick up the bishop. Now knight to D5 will happen. <laughs> really, really wild stuff. If you play here, C takes D5, then rook to C3 is going to happen. You step back and now bishop to d5 uh, leads into complications because of knight to d5 the queen is hanging you really really amazing amazing tactical sequence of course we play first rook to b3 get out of the attack of the knight and now we pick up the queen the game is over here for black really wild stuff so you see queen to h5 is also not working so that's why c takes d5 played by kaisa but now knight to d5 if you take of course here like the kaisa engine did knight to d5 we have queen to h7 again with the same threat knight to e3 is of course not working you get checkmate immediately so that's my for queen to h7 we have knight to b6 finally but finally this bishop comes into the game but now stockfish played an immortal move and what to say about this move as i said in the beginning of the video something special is going to happen today pay good attention put your seat belts on and try to see maybe the best continuation here for white white moves and wins the game so try to see now the best continuation it's maybe hard to see but this is really an incredible move really a unique move for sure okay could you see it the stunner is a brutal move bishop to f6 really really wild stuff let's see what happens let's see the first sequence knight to f6 uh, is not working queen to h8 of course can be met with knight to g8 but you get checkmated again if you play bishop to f6 again a similar tactic happens of course you can get here but now after queen to uh, e8 again the game is over you could try of course g takes f6 uh, simply picking up the bishop but now a rook to g3 uh, is an amazing threat to play rook to g8 you can maybe survive this attack by giving up material but you simply lose too much material so it's again not working in the game after bishop to f6 queen to f7 was played by uh, the kaisa engine but this is also not working because you get a check and here in this particular position kaisa actually resigned what's the issue after queen to g8 you cover now you get this one bishop uh, takes g7 you cannot take of course with the queen because of the tensions on the eighth rank you have to play king to f7 but now rook to e7 this would be the winning move this wasn't played in the game as i said kaisa resigned but we'll uh, do this because uh, we're continuing now this tactical sequence after rook to e7 king to e7 has to be played because you cannot take with the knight uh, because of the tensions on uh, the long diagonal we have our king takes e7 and now we pick up the queen uh, bishop to f8 uh, queen to f8 is going to happen so this is again a simply lost game here for black so let's go back to this critical moment after this move knight to b6 stockfish played the impossible bishop to f6 six sick move here by the stockfish 16 chess engine really a rare case that you see that this piece can be taken with three pieces uh, but nothing is working here. Stockers prepared this attack in such a beautiful, brutal way, in my opinion. Really one of the best games, best moves at least that I've seen in my life. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed a lot of interesting ideas of the Sultan Bay variation of the Slav defense for sure. If you want to see more epic, brutal, sharp tactical games like this, check out our common chess games played by computers. Uh, uh, here's the link of our playlist. And if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. See you soon with some more videos and what, this is, what do we say? Chess is the best, of course.